All right. You could bond indoors for spring training with a wiffle ball. Justin, can you square up? This is how you want them to square. Bat head's out in front, barrel's above the hands. If it's like this, he's going to pop it up. Notice all he does is he just turns his back foot there, and that's a square. Okay, can you square incorrectly? Can you square the Little League way? Even more, exaggerate even more. Yeah, that's the Little League way of squaring, where you actually turn your body like this and square. It's going to cause some major problems. Number one is go ahead and square that way, square incorrectly. If this ball goes at his head, he's going to have a difficult time getting out of the way. Okay? Secondly, if he steps on the plate, he's out. So let's teach the right way. Get him to square early, square, bat head up. As coaches, you can just toss him gently. Notice how the bat head is up. This is a lost art in baseball. We'll teach bonding in spring training. Okay? Now, I'm going to throw it low, do it incorrectly. Ah, it's too good. Good. Okay? What do he do there? Low pitch, what do he do? He dropped the bat, and what should he do? Drop his knees. Okay? So this is what you're going to want to work on and look for in spring training and teach that, that for bunting, the ball is low, drop the knees, don't do that. Okay, what's wrong with that grip? Go ahead. Go, go back to where you had it. Square. What's wrong with that? Anybody get it? It's got to be closer to his body. Okay, you have to have flex. Okay, your, your head, head of the bat goes out here like this. Okay, and if you want to, rudder, rudder, down third base, down first base, down third base, down first base, okay? Bat head up, really light grip, catch the ball with the bat. 